Kenyan. Um, founder of Toweza Initiative, which started back in 2010. Uh, the main aim of starting this initiative was to empower women in slums and around the community so that they can get skills and also uh, remove them from drug addiction, prostitution, and selling of the illicit brews, which this was one way of equipping these women so that they can feel they're part of the society and they can improve their livelihood. Um, apart from working with only women, we also work with uh, a few young men, which um, the main thing why I'm working with these young men, with the women, is to at least the challenges that women face they are contributed by men, and when, when they are with them, they are in a position to share, and they can also educate the community and tell them these challenges are there, but you can get better people who are who are there to, and they can change the community, both working as a team. The main thing uh, in the community is, is, is that women outlook men and they feel men really um, mistreat them to the extent that they feel they are down to earth, they cannot be supported with men, but there are men who are so good and they can, be, they can support men. They can support women if only they can interact well. They are in a bold situation that they know and they feel women have the, cap the potential, they are capable, and they can focus in life, and they can show what they feel is best for them, and they can improve their skills. Uh, in Toweza Initiative, we do a couple of things, which we do fashion and design, we do uh, accessories, we do sandal making, and we also do san sanitary towels making, and we do mentorship programs for the young women around the communities. And apart from that, we also do the sensitization on reproductive health in schools so that we can empower the young women in schools to know that as much as they're young, they should not lack sanitary towels so that they can drop out of school, so that they can drop out of school and show them that they have people, who, they have people around them who are, who, who can, whom they can count on and whom they can see that they are aggressive and they can do potential things to focus on in life. Uh, the challenges that you're facing as an organization, it's uh, one challenge is getting a bigger and working uh, working station that we can use to accommodate at least around uh, around 50 to 60 women which we still we are still young and we're still uh, working towards growth uh, the second challenge is our products are not yet um, not our product the markets that we're trying to get it's not to the latter where we want so we are trying. So we are trying. We are still sourcing for this market, and we hope with time uh, we are in a position to uh, to be able to sell globally around. I'm Melap Nafula, a member of Soweza Initiative. I joined the group in 2013. Uh, since I joined the group, I've seen the benefits of not being idle. It's like an employment to me. I got the skills of making sandals um, and earrings and necklaces. The reason why I joined Toweza is because it's a woman, in, a women initiative uh, that empowers women on various issues like reproductive issues, not only making sandals and making accessories. Um, the challenge is the community should enhance that and should appreciate the little 
work that we are trying to do to improve these lives in the community.